Welcome to the first episode of MarineCraft. It's where we'll be taking a look at how Marines, SCVs, and Macro can be abused to the point of killing everything you thought they couldn't. The particular Protoss you see on the screen right now was pissing on Marines and SCVs in a public channel. And because I had a reputation for using them, I got chatting with him, and he ended up challenging me for a game. I accepted because he's only, I think, top 8 plat or something like that. And I figured I could really abuse Marines and SCVs and make him rue the day he ever challenged them. Anyways, we'll be seeing him get gutted here over the course of a 20 minute game or so. I am the red Terran in the top left. You already saw the Protoss in the bottom right, my opponent. And we're only going to be looking at this game from his perspective. Because I want to keep my greedy tactics to myself. However, I will leave the income tab and harvesters up here. Because I'm an egotistical maniac and I like to see how far I am ahead. Uh, using just Marines and SCVs is a very taxing playstyle involving really heavy macro. I don't really uh, micro a whole lot because the macro is so intense and you're really forced to make army trades that aren't cost effective. Like when you're using them against Banelings, Tanks, Colossus, whatever it is, you're using a lot more Marines and SCVs than the Colossus is worth. So it does, qu it does take quite a bit. Anyways, back to the game at hand. We've got his scouting probe hitting my base here. Protoss always likes to harass the first barracks and SCV, and this pisses me off to no end. And to make things worse, my reaction time was delayed. I had to pull the SCV off the barracks because he got it to too low a health. Usually you'd be able to pull the SCV down in time to defend it, but I was too greedy and lazy to do it. So I ended up pulling it off the racks, making him mine again, and sending another one out. And he's gonna go... Yeah, I sent one too, but he chased that out as well. Totally innocent too, that SCV didn't do fuck all to him, and he's almost murdered him. He's got 5 health left, and they do 5 damage. So I just saved him. I'm going after his, it looks pretty bad, because he's got a lot more information than I have. Well, really, I guess I haven't placed down any structures yet, he hasn't seen shit, because he's dumb. But I've seen pretty much everything I had to, I was worried about his double gas. Because a lot of Protoss like to either rush Colossus or do a quick expand on this map, both of which kind of counter my style. So I wanted to be aware of that so I knew what I could do. And of course his bow because he decided to keep it inside the base, even though there was obviously a marine building, got sniped off. We also have somebody observing the map. He's a fucking noob, no matter everything he says, I don't even know why he let him, why I let him spoil my game. But that's fine, he'll, he'll make a few comments. Anyways, this Protoss thinks that I use Marines and SCVs to rush really hard in the early parts of the game. This usually means a 2 or 3 racks and SCV all in, kind of cheese. So he decides to go 1 gate, 1 forge against Terran on a macro map. Now he throws this cannon at the front gate because he expects me to be cheesing him with Marines and SCVs. Even so, it's still kind of late, because that cheese lands right around 5 minutes, because it leaves the base around 4.20 to 4.30. So, yeah, not it's not too late. I probably could have pulled off that cheese if I'd done it. But in reality, I'm being really, really greedy. He wasn't able to figure out anything looking up here. He just saw the command center with no gas and the one barracks. So he could be assuming that I'm proxy raxing him, which means I'm hiding the racks at some point on the map so I can rush him. Uh, or it could be a one rax fast expand, and it's what he doesn't expect. You can see this because he has the cannon down on the forge. Now because he has the forge, he went for the weapons upgrade, Research whatever. Complete. And when I sent that SCV that we briefly saw get die here earlier, I saw the cannon. This made me feel really secure because any time somebody's investing in static defenses against me, they aren't investing in anything that can punish my greed. This cannon can't grow legs and run over my base and attack me. So he's creating a, a, a rather gaping weakness for himself. Like he's all prepared here to stop a rush. He just doesn't know the kind of greedy person I am. Greedy fucking Scrooge. He's trying to 
grab intel, but he's, he's not even checking the damn natural. He doesn't know what I'm doing. Natural is a second base here. He doesn't know where I've expanded to. He's not bothering to gather information. Let's see what he's transitioning to here. He's going to gate Robo. So he's three Robo. Ah, sorry. He's doing the traditional Protoss build against Terran. It's the safest one you can do. Sometimes you'll find them do the three the Nexus. Sometimes you'll see them expand even earlier. But this is the safest build he can do. Three gate up to four gate Robo, which he can't even support off one base. He's just doing this because my fake reputation. He's got an observer coming out here, which is really smart on his part. Same with this zealot. Because he knows it wasn't a rush anymore, he's probably assuming I'm a greedy player. It's bad for me, but the only thing going in my favor is he's invested so much and playing so safe that he's going to be taken advantage of. Now he sees me he's here. He's deciding to pull back. It's still way past the all-in time, so he might go for it. Yeah, he'll probably go for this armor first, just so blind. I don't have it. He doesn't see anything. He didn't see any bases or shenanigans up here. See some marines coming down. This will easily overcome by my forces. I don't even see him through all this grass. That. He's just observing out now. Probably be looking around. He's sort of expanded because that's the only thing that build can be most times get at 13. So he knows this fucking idiot commentator. I mean, he's, he's talking to both of us, so he knows that I have something secret right now. So he's bound to scout the map because this fucker is giving away everything. Anyways, you can see I was at the front gate. I was expecting his little push with the bunker and the turret to get rid of these fucking observers. Too bad it didn't. If he's smart, he'll pull the observer around and poke into my base to see exactly what I'm doing. He probably will, because that idiot observer I let into the game told them that I had secret stuff hidden around the map. And if you look closely, there's a lot of opportunity for that. Like, you can see these two rocks here guarding the northern expansion. Same thing with the, the south, it's a symmetrical map. There's a lot of different bases and paths here that you can hide expansions on. And why I picked this map, and <laughs> he accepted. <laughs> Anyways, he's going to send his zealot out here. He already checked up here. He's got his army position up front, his observer here, while he expands. This still is very standard, even though he's only a high platinum player. Like, you can see he's floating a fair bit of cash here. He's not that great. But then he starts detecting my greed. He forces a cancel on command center down here with one zealot. Kills my SCP. He sees an orbital. So at this point... I guess you could say the damage the observer said had <laughs> the, the spoiling he caused is a little bit out the window now because he thinks this is the only secret I have. So he saw this command center, he saw this command center, he cancelled this one, so he can assume oh look. That's right, you run from my TVs, you bitch. So he can assume I don't have very many units. Unfortunately for him. My macro is a lot better than that. And he sees this army up here, this army down there. So now he's growing a little bit alarmed because he realizes he's behind. I have at least three bases. He's only getting his natural up now. He's not even transferring his probes. Transfer your probes, bro. You fucking idiot. He's not going to be able to... He can't afford all these production facilities if he doesn't get his probes down there. Come on. Come on. <sighs> so now he's playing defensively. I guess he expects me to attack now. He really should be doing something with this observer. Oh, come on. You're so lazy. Oh, there we go. I finally do something. Bring some bees and some marines. I was just trying to see what he had. I was kind of scared he had third base by now. So when I only saw this many SCVs down here. Whatever. He, got, he was so scared of the few marines and SCVs that he pulled up into his hand to get coverage from the cannon. He just lost his only chance to stay in the game. His nexus. He doesn't realize how far behind he is because of his relatively low experience level. But that really, really set him back. He doesn't have a natural expansion at 13 and a half minutes. And now I'm just doing this to bait him down there. Throwing up 
fuckers. I guess as you can see on the income tag, the macro is really going out of control. And of course, I leave all my marines in the back. Totally ruin my advantage. Maybe could have killed him here, but that's just how bad I am. The worthless marines are. They don't worth anything. I'm just gonna turn the game sounds down. Because it's drowning my important voice out. I'm here, you shadows. He probably even feels good now knowing that he destroyed that and all those SCDs, but he's full of shit. You can see stalkers really do counter Marines rather well. Especially when they start regenerating their shields. Little advantage Protoss units have. And eh, regardless. Shut up, you fucking idiot. So annoying. Let me never have observers in my games again. This observer down here. He's so passive with these. He could have so much information right now if he wanted to. See, now he's looking. Look at all this fucking greed. There's two. Two command centers down here, orbital. He sees one down here, so he knows for sure I'm on three bases, and he can assume that this is the one he saw earlier because of the damage on it from the zealot. So he sees this, he probably is assuming that. Oh. Look at me, watching command centers instead of battles. It's almost like my habits <laughs> are coming back to me, even in commentary. Anyways, Marines are so much more powerful if they have SCV backup. And that just goes beyond bunkers. I mean, they're fucking Zerglings. They can defend them against Zealots, and they can just meat shield all the damage. Oh look, he did put the Observer in there. He sees all the racks. He's finally doing something useful. Clearly he doesn't know what shift clicking is. So he's finally got Colossus out. I mean, 16 minutes into the game, you can tell how bad he is. Everything's so late that losing his Nexus just fucked him. And I'm gonna ignore all this crap and I'm gonna go for his Nexus again. You can see how SCV surrounds. <laughs> how often do you see that? They're probably gonna kill his Nexus too. Look at that. You have five Marines, six Marines distracting his entire army while a bunch of SCVs snipe his Nexus. <laughs> oh, that's priceless. <laughs> Shut up! Die. He probably feels better now that the Colossus are out. 21 kills, he's already paid for himself. Problem is, the macro's already starting out of control. I'm almost 100 harvesters already. And he just killed a bunch. He killed a lot of workers. Alright. This game has been over since he lost his Nexus. Twice. And he's still gonna keep pushing. I don't blame him, I guess that's all he thinks he can do. He probably still thinks I'm on my two bases up here with this one. And he thinks if he can somehow destroy this, he'll be able to get back into the game because of his tech advantage. I guess he doesn't quite realize Colossus can walk over cliffs. He can just snipe the shit out of these and retreat into his own base. Nope, he has to go in the open, make himself vulnerable, whatever. Go through the rocks. Oh look, he grew a brain. In five seconds, he developed four neurons. Alright, so we have SCVs chasing off the fucking Colossus. I'm just baiting him here, I think I have reinforcements coming. I mean, look at the murder! How many kills does he have now? 30 kills! What a boss! Back up here though, I intercept his stalkers. I gotta go save this command center. And he's already weakened the rocks for me, see? What, what a nice guy. Such a friend. Any opponent that does, does things for you deserves a reward. I wish I could give him a gold star. Too bad I'm too greedy. Too much of a Scrooge. You know what? When you're behind, and you're in. <laughs> Just throw up some fucking cannons. <laughs> Photon cannons will get you back in the game. Ah, <laughs> oh, just another massacre. His total boss, Colossus, here is going to have 50 doubles on him pretty soon. See? Frustrating people. Boxer, can I say something? Is that what you just did? 
I swear some people don't even think where they type, and he's not even playing the game. There's all the time in the world to think about what he's saying, and he still doesn't do it. What an embarrassment to humanity. Sometimes I think he's worse than the person actually playing. Ah, we'll see. 50, 50 kills on a Colossus. The most I've ever seen is 200. I don't think he'll be able to get that far, though. He only has one. He's building another one, but I mean, look at all this fucking mining. You can tell I've had this for quite some time. These two have obviously landed somewhere, so he knows at least it's five base versus one and a half, one, one. And he finally transfers his workers after this fucking base is mined out. <sighs> so this poor joke of a game has been over for a while, so I pull everything I have together and probably maxed out. I'm gonna do the death push on him now. He's got nothing to defend himself with. He's not greedy enough to grab a base. He's just gas. He's not. He's not chrono boosting his. Oh, he is chrono boosting his classes. Anyways, you see STV is a marine he's chasing down what little he has left. It's not even fun to watch anymore because he fucked up so bad. God, what a mess! What a mess! Look at that. Useless cannons of the day. These two can cannons, he had a third one up here as a fucking nexus. And he still didn't do it. I'm just gonna die now because he's so bad. Poor multitasking. Even as the game ends, he has 800 minerals, 400 gas. How the hell does he expect to win with such poor macro? Fucking fail. <laughs> I swear I saw some Muslim SUVs carrying some gas cans. Where are they? They're my heroes. You're gonna suicide bomb? Where are they? They're carrying little green Vespian gas canisters. Oh, there's a Muslim. There he is. For Allah. <laughs> Anyways, that joke is just concluded. I'm gonna get a few more replays casted here and throw them up. I've got a few that are a little bit amusing than this garbage. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.